Hey guys, Dylan Miller here, and welcome back to NASCAR 14 for race 30 36, case race number 4 for running the um, Hollywood Casino 400. Last week at Dover, I finished 16th. I don't remember where I finished, but we go ahead and change pace here. We're running the white main car for this race. We finished 24th, unfortunately. Let's uh, jump down. If anybody has the 12-22 NASCAR inside line set up, because this constant sliding and slipping through the corner really pisses me off. Alright, so we're going to do 27 laps this afternoon in Kansas. Tire wear is going to be on times 2. Fuel use is going to be times 2. Flag rules are going to be on caution. Damage and failure is going to be on full. Here's Jeff Hammond. The crowd is fired up out here today. Make sure you go out there and give them a great performance here, Trevor. Kansas Speedway. The fourth stop of the chase for the championship heads down to Kansas. Last week at Dover, Dover we had another winner on the cards bumping me and Greg Bethel down to fourth. There is a four-way run for first. Who will be reigning supreme in the heartland today? Is Kansas is simplified as Emerald City on the way to the yellow on the yellow brick road to the championship in Homestead, Miami. Here's ESPN legends. Alan Bestwick, Dale Jarrett, and Amy Petrie. Boys. Welcome to Kansas Speedway in America's Heartland for today's running of the Hollywood 400. I'm Mike. Oh, Hollywood Casino 400. Like these guys, these crew chiefs, they can go away the nose books. This is a whole new racetrack. Progressive banking, extremely, extremely fast. Hey look, it's Kansas, Kansas Speedway, or Kansas Speedway. Kevin Harvick is on the pole. Clint Boyer is going to start second. Martin Trex is going to start third. Carl Edwards is going to start fourth. Who will be the winner in the Hollywood Casino 400 this afternoon in Kansas? We'll find out. At the end of 27 short laps. Pace car is off. Now the field is in the hands of Kevin Harvick in the 4. Clint Boyer in the 15. NASCAR 15's race at Kansas was actually caution free. Pretty much all race long. The, well, the day race was anyway. The night race had two cautions, from what I remember. And so far, coming out of turn number four, Kevin Harvick is going to get the early lead this afternoon in Kansas. We go down to the apron and pick up multiple spots on everybody. Rex Jr. is going to take the top spot. Oh, Bobby Wallace up in the wall. Almondanger is going to come down. Paul Menard and Ryan Newman is going to take position. Give me a turn for Brad Keselowski is going to lead lap number two. Denny, I'm sorry, Denny Hamlin takes the lead going down into turn number one. One here as um, cross under Stewart and Vickers. Okay, contact. Vickers saves it. Hey, you've been back, vaccinated for Vickernism recently. Apparently, Vickers and Stewart have not been vaccinated. 
Jim Addison with four. Brad Keselowski is taking the lead. I'm sorry, Fitful takes the lead. He's one of our championship rivals. So, um, this year for my high school, they allowed the people to wear jogger pants, which is more for the girls than the guys, because I just don't know anybody who's willing to fit in jogger pants, any guys, but it's pathetic. It is freaking pathetic. My school encourages business casual wear. Encourages business casual wear. And, well, and last year, if you were caught wearing sweatpants, the school would bust you. Not this, oh, you're going to wear joggers, that's cool. And I'm not sure why, but not what was the thought process behind all this. But all the concept, oh my god. I'm so angry they're allowing joggers. Greg Biffle and I were beating on each other. And they allowed joggers, but really? That's basically a good way to allow all the chicks. Every chick in the school has been whining about wearing joggers. Well, most of them anyway. Most of the chicks have been whining and bitching about not being able to wear joggers. Like, it's a business casual school, honey. What do you expect? Everybody at your mom or dad's job to show up wearing joggers and tank tops or a cute summer outfit or something? No, you're going to show up in professional wear. I think it's pathetic, in my opinion. Everyone freaking wearing joggers. Oh my god, I'm so pissed about it. That Casey Kane just spun me out. Caution flag is out for the first time this afternoon. Clint Boyer is also involved. Paul Menard. I should not rant about joggers because um, this will happen. Oh, already six laps in, my engine is orange. Yes, I'm going to freaking hit. Are you stupid? What are you stupid? Okay, back to the jogger thing. Um, really? I'm not sure what your dress code is at your school, but I think it should push business casual. Because our, the guys at the stage of their life, lives where their hormones are kicking in, and when they see a cute girl wearing, you know, jogger sweatpants and shit, they're going to kind of get distracted from their work. This is a, that, is, in my opinion, is probably the greatest way you can distract anybody from your schoolwork. And I'm probably going to get a lot of hate for this, but the way I see it, PRA should ban PRA should ban joggers. And if you're comfortable, that's cool, but coming from a guy that's worked around, you should look the best for your job, thrown around that life, that lifestyle. Wearing joggers to school is stupid. Because you're not going to walk into your job on the first day, it's like, day wearing joggers and joggers and stuff and shit with just a random shirt because I guarantee you your boss is going to fire you. God, that out of my system. Greg Biffle is the early leader at Kansas. Early caution because of my stupidity and me ranting about joggers sweatpants. Wow, Jamie McMurray break check big time, and look at that. Both lines are going to be checking up hard. I'm just going to run and just clear by everybody going into turn one. Kirk Bush up the racetrack, around those David. Wow, we were five wide for a few moments. Everyone's beating on each other. Oh, my God. And they escaped the carnage. That was um, turn one and two. We put them into three. Got a couple other guys coming down to pit road now. Whoa! Dylan feels the urge to brake check everybody as we just fly by the field. Nine laps in here at, here at Kansas Speedway. Ray Biffle leads. Kyle Busch checks up. I falls to 21st. Bubba Wallace comes up to 19th. Oh, okay. Three cars at the racetrack. Carl Edwards takes the lead. 
Vickers checks up Austin Dillon. As Keselowski goes around, did he, wait, I think he saved it. They're not going to call a caution yet, but Tony Stewart's about to do the next caution. Now the caution comes out. It looks like AJ Allmendinger piles into him, him at the end. Stewart just chased us down. I chased Stewart down, up the racetrack he went, flipped Ambrose. Oh, wow, Allmendinger plowed into him hard. We're going to restart fifth on this restart with Carl Edwards and Joey Logano in the front row. Logano was the his state lately tamed both Kansas races in real life, winning the 2014 race and winning the 2015 race and probably one of the most controversial things. Virgil finishes in NASCAR history by flying to Matt Kenseth on the late restart. Anyways, Joey Logano is going to just slow up uncontrollably on the outside lane. Here comes Kyle Larson on the inside of Carl Edwards to try to take second and take the lead here. Up the racetrack we go. Here comes Austin nice Dillon here. in the three car. To the point, to second. Can he get the lead? Everyone is single file right now as Austin Dillon, Clint Boyer, Kyle Busch are going to be coming to the lead here. Austin Dillon clearly gets to the point as every fan in Kansas is on their feet to see the black three to the lead for the first time in his career. Austin Dillon leads laps to the place other than Daytona and Talladega. That's probably not going to be for much longer as... Austin Dillon leads here at Kansas. 14 laps of racing to go. Austin Dillon is leading here. Look at that. We're on the inside. Jimmy Johnson. Kyle Busch. Now down to take a lead here at Kansas. Kansas is not a good place, the place you think of when you think of Kyle Busch. When it comes to his wins, Kyle. In fact, in NASCAR 15, when I played as Kyle Busch, he actually swept both races on the way to his championship in NASCAR 15. But NASCAR 14, anything before the year 2014, Kansas was not Kyle Busch's forte. Here comes Carl Edwards in the 99, trying to take the lead. Can he get there? Oh, up the racetrack we go. Contact. Oh, Gordon got loose. We're down to 11. 12 laps to go. Some cars, some cars, some cars down on pit road. Austin Dillon slipped all the way back to the ninth position. Carl Edwards is your current leader, followed by I think Kyle Busch is followed by Kyle Busch second moment. So it looks like you could there's a yellow car coming out behind everybody. We're gonna go up get Gordon. This Boyer just falling back four spot, five spots. Larson and Logano battling for fourth. Newman takes fifth. I'm sorry. Edwards leads, going into turn three. Eleven laps of racing to go. No one says that, but nope. David Reagan checks up Kyle Larson big time coming out of turn number four. Big time check up for him. Ten to go at Kansas. Kyle Busch and Carl Edwards are one, two. Here comes Jimmy Johnson in the 48. Here I come. Hey, Edwards and Bush. Here I come. Just staying a lane above 
We're going to take second. Mason Edwards. Here we go. For the lead here at Kansas. Just leaning on each other right now. I barely get the advantage coming out of two. Two, though. Nick Carl Edwards there. Here comes Kyle Bush in the 18. Nine to go. When you get to the line, there will be eight laps to go. I get ahead of the lead. Get the lead here. And this here comes Kyle Bush in the 18. And, oh! Bush spins. Leaders wreck. Third yellow. Edwards and Bush are around. Round just from that distraction. We just came up. I came down on him. Ryan Newman and Jamie McMurray hit are leading. I didn't lose that many positions on this restart. Five laps of racing left. Ryan Newman is the leader. Green flag back in the air. Jamie McMurray takes it back. Four wide. Four wide for a moment. Three wide here. Only in the turn one. Newman gets the lead. Biffle's going to be slowing up fast. Hamlin and Stewart get loose. Newman leads. Ryan Newman leads. Matt Kenseth comes out front, leads to Kansas. Remember what happened when, Ken happened when Kenseth was out front last time at Kansas? Someone ran right through him. Four laps of racing to go. Kenseth has got four laps to survive. Newman takes it back. Edwards up the track. Bubba Wallace gets loose. Now here comes Casey Mears spinning. Looks like it's going to be just his incident. Just got up, flipped him, round he went. I thought he was going to come up the track here. He did, oh wow, Palmenar got him. Could have been a much bigger mess. The safety crews are clear of the track. Kurt Busch and Michael and Nett. Hey, Milo's, Milo's Cup Series. Michael and Nett is now a threat. Three laps of racing to go. Kurt Busch and Michael and Nett bring the field to the restart zone. And... Green flag is back into the air. Three to go. Boy, Mike Lynette really didn't get a good start here. There's a wreck. Down goes Austin Dilling. I'm getting beat around like freaking. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Who? God, he See where Austin Dillon ended up. Where he went, he spun way to the inside. Seemed to be a tame race at first, but business is picking up. Usually what happens when his business picks up. Rex happen. Clint Boyer and Tony Stewart are on the front row. Take a look at your last lap, buddy. We're doing two more. Yeah, last two restarts we haven't gotten out of turn two very much. Anyways, Clint Boyer and Tony Stewart lean down. Green flag is back into the air. On the bottom. Definitely a good restart that Good's time. Here. Clint Boyer, Kansas native, two laps. He will win for the first time in his home state in the cup car. In the truck truck race, he won it in a truck race here in 2011. But Jeff Gordon is hot on his heels. Joey Logano is with there with him as well. With Herm. Logano up the racetrack. No, never mind. Green flag is still out. Up on the outside, Gordon slides to the top. White flag in, in the air here. 
Kansas for Jimmy Johnson. He actually won a, won a Kansas race here in 2011. Jeff Gordon, could he get another win? Ambrose with a huge one. The epic finish to the line. Ambrose with slides. Keselowski wins at Kansas. In the top five, a lot of points. Great work, champ. Ambrose surprisingly finished sixth after getting tipped just five feet of the line. Brad Keselowski won today at Kansas. David Rudeman finishes second. Kyle Busch third. Jimmy Johnson fourth. Paul Menard fifth. Marcus Ambrose sixth. Clint Boyer seventh. Carl Edwards eighth. Jeff Gordon ninth. And Matt Kenseth tenth. As look on down to the field. Let's see uh, how many, see if Ambrose wrecked badly on the last lap. Got anybody in it. Surprisingly much, pretty clean racing at first. Then that happened. Then this happened. Then this happened. Then this happened. Then this happened. When we get to Martinsville, it's probably going to suck total nuts. Ran the guy to the bottom. Got him loose. This is the last lap. Thought I had it one. Gordon got me under two. Junior went up the racetrack, up into the wall. Ambo straightened it out. Ambrose was able to straighten out a loose race car, mind you. Let's look at the points. Well, nothing changed here. Bush gained two spots. Because Lousy earned his fourth win. He doesn't really change. Ambrose gained a spot. Biffle loses three. Kane finished seventh. Junior gains a spot. Stewart loses a spot. Edwards gains a spot. Hamlin gains a spot. Jordan remains neutral. Next race is going to be at Charlotte Motor Speedway for the halfway point of the chase for race 31 to 36. Tune in, ne tune in next time.